Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Mr. Hands has more of these little hidden gems lined up for us, so we're heading back into the depths of Pacifica to go and pick these things up. Um, I've uh, decided to hop into the Machinor Saguaro for this one. Um, haven't really taken this set of wheels for a spin, this little Prezi from Dakota that was so... Uh, apparently difficult for me to actually come across um but yeah it's uh, it's pretty speedy actually i think it probably rivals the beast in terms of uh, sheer pace all right let's take a little look weren't we hold on weren't we down here very recently for something i'm trying to remember exactly what that would have been okay what well, looks like our next little hidden gem is just around the corner let's take a look at uh mr han's message just to see what this is all in aid of and uh, let me see where are we have i gone past you hmm just slid down to the bottom it has how unusual right where do you got hands missing persons locate spectral kid wait spectral kid spectral kid spectral kid wasn't wasn't spectral kid the hacker that was goading uh what was his name now was it chang chang hon nam was it something like that? The um, the net runner that got himself trapped in the net uh, whilst doing a job for Wakaka Wakada. I'm sure it's Spectral Kid that was uh, goading him along. Anyway, the old tigress rang me. Her next husband wanted me to check up on his protege. A net runner goes by the moniker Spectral Kid. His dumbass is trying to crack the Voodoo Boy's ice because Netwatch are just a bunch of amateurs, I guess. Check in on him, sending you the cords of his den. Oh, this isn't going to end well, is it? Blimey. Um. Oh, hello. I might just put you to sleep before I advance any further, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. We have another one. I feel almost guilty doing that. There are dying breed working turrets in Pacifica. Uh, okay, so this is uh, Spectral Kid's little hideout, I guess? Better be careful in case there's any more defences inside. Oh. Well. <laughs> I mean, no surprise there. These missing persons gigs don't usually uh, have a happy ending to them, do they? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Bioconductors. Crafting spec for a recon grenade. Right, that's our target. Let's take a look at that in just a moment. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Spectral. <laughs> you didn't turn out too well, did you? Let's see. Char incendiary grenade. This and that, and indeed the other. Have we not got a terminal to hack anywhere? Oh, surely. Surely there must be something of interest I can pick up somewhere. Okay, um, let's see. Bioconductor and an archive conversation between Spectral Kid and Chang Hu Nam. I bloody knew it. <laughs> what do you want, Spectral? If I were you, I would not go poking around the VD boy's net. Ha! The kinds of data streams they're sitting on. You're gonna, you're going up against pros. If they catch you in a permutation, you're toast. Uh, XD, XD, XD. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Come on. Why not help me out with my job? Nah, let me ask you a favor. Yes? Think before you message me, okay? These voodoo juju gonks are using block ciphers for initial access. Amateurs. So don't even try to scare me with some woo-moo permutations, Toom. That's what inverses are for, right? Just gotta uh, decrypt them and uh, decrypt them local and check whatever voodoo blah blah they're keeping on these fortresses. But sure, you go on ahead with your little league shit. I'm going legend, Toom. Bye bye Fine, do what you want. Oh! -ho! What a silly sausage. Chang Hoon Nam tried to warn him, but, well, Spectral knew better. Uh, Spectral's fried. Yeah, hands didn't turn out well. Foolish, arrogant kid. I guess Chang's going to need to find a new disciple. <laughs> the next hidden gem requires that you complete uh, Moomai or Captain Rea's side gig race to the top. Yeah, we're good on that front. Ooh, hello. We've just leveled up. We have indeed. We are level 59. Brilliant. <laughs> We're now five, uh, nine levels past the maximum. <laughs> Go figure. God bless the modding community, eh? Right, this might take a second or two then for the uh, for the next one to come in. So we might as well take in the sights and the sounds and probably the smells of Pacifica just for just a moment. Ah, here we go. Next gig. Look. Locate Matthias Stove in the shack off Pacific Boulevard. A group of animals are... Hold on. Matthias Stove. Matthias Stove. 
Was Matthias Stove not the guy, um, oh god, what company was it? It wasn't one of the major corporations. I'm sure Matthias Stove was the guy who we basically found dirt on on behalf of someone paying a fixer so that that person paying the fixer could take Matthias Stove's job. I'm sure it was him. What bloody company was it now? Was it Kindachi? Might have been Kendachi. Anyway, group of animals are claiming a Tino. <laughs> there we were. It was Kendachi. A Tino bounty on a Kendachi ex exec. He's ex because we got him kicked out of his job. Oh no. Should I feel guilty? Go and confirm the kill. Those meatheads aren't going to wait forever for their payment. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, what, what, what is this strange feeling? I think it might be guilt. Um, <laughs> Interestingly, uh, the PA system somewhere over there just bellowed out across Pacifica. Don't be afraid of sharks. The last real shark died in 2057 <laughs> well that's a relief okay um i'm getting back into the mackinaw i don't actually know where i'm going hold on oh no oh no i think i just caught what was on the radio <laughs> oh no not that oh no <laughs> too soon don't do this to me oh no okay we'll brave it brave face me brave face Oh god, I just realized I'm gonna have to try and thread the needle through here, aren't I? E, e, e. Careful. Careful. Okay, we're all right. Interestingly, the minimap is trying to get me to turn off, though. Does this road not lead to where I think it leads? Oh, Jesus! What in the hell was that? Whoa! Oh god, it's up here! Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that genuinely caught me completely off guard. Who's doing the fighting? Sounds like an animal. Animals be scavs, if I remember right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you oh, I've still got a gun. Oh, screw it, why not? Not very often we get to play with toys like this. Right, okay, we're all right. Are you? You're not shooting at me, are you? Oh, actually, this smart gun could come in handy. And her! Mm, it's not really our uh, our ineptitude with uh, with um with projectile weapons is beginning to show. I think. Hold on, let me see. We've got a little group over here. Perhaps we could throw a bit of silent burnout on a couple of them. That'll do. Right. Whoa! Hello. Whoa, whoa. whoa, easy. Easy. Right, we might need to swap this up a bit. Right, I need to be careful. I don't hit the animals by mistake. Let's throw another silence burner. Yeah, that's hit a couple of you. Beautiful stuff. Let's maybe put a short circuit on you. And I think we need to take a close look at our loadout. <laughs> Oh dear, this is getting feisty, isn't it? Um, right, let's get shot of these. Not what we need. Um, let's fall back on our trusty, thrusty blades. Would love to pick up a couple of those new style blades at some point. Um, it's not worth throwing mods into this at the moment, I don't think. Right, back out. What's the health situation looking like? Oh, it's looking okay, actually. Oh, easy. Whoa, easy now. No, you do not. Short circuit, thank you. No. What the hell is God, this? I can't heal yet. Yes, I can. <laughs> Sit down. Son of a bitch. Right. What can we, whoa, what can we throw in that's going to hit the group here? Uh, Detonate grenade should do it. Along with maybe... Well, there's a couple of people down here. Maybe short circuit. There we go. Whoa. Man, this is uh, this is getting a little bit hairy. Let's maybe do a bit of a cloak. See if we can take a couple of these out before they realise I'm even here. Oh, that was pretty successful. Shit, 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 gotta reload. Yep, shit, shit, shit is correct. Ooh, a couple of you there. Detonate grenade. A couple of you there. Short circuit. That'll do. Right, hold on. Who else are you going to take out? Go on, take out your tune. Boom. That'll do. Smoke the ass maggot out! Ass maggot? That's not very nice. Come out, you pussy! 
He called me an ass maggot. Can you believe that? Oh, there we go. Is that it? Are they down? I think they're all down. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy myself. Oh, very nice. Look at the amount of loot that we've got to pick up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just pick up the uh, the juiciest looking spoils as we go around. Yep. Excuse me. Coming through. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, let's have a bite to eat whilst we're um, just wandering around. Okay. Right, let's pop up and see the animals. Let's see what state they're in. Did they take any casualties, I wonder? Or, uh, whoa, hello. Oh, that's my blade. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, we do have a bit of loot up here. Nice. A few blades scattered here and there. Well, that was just a civilian in the wrong place at the wrong time by the looks of things. I think this was the first guy that I took down. There's a hole. What's going on down there? Oh, I know what's going on down there. Is that the spot? Yeah, I think that's the spot where the um, the scavengers and the animals keep on... Uh, not the animals, the Aldecados keep on meeting each other. Right, I think... Yeah, animals are on good terms, I think. We're all right. I wonder if they'll uh, actually recognize... Oh, dear. One of them got taken down. I wonder if they'll actually recognize that they help the situation out. Hello. Hi. Um... You're welcome. Come to talk dirty to me. I mean, I'm kind of in a bit of a rush, but I can pop back later if you like. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Yeah, a couple of them did end up hitting the deck. Skin and bones. Slightly rude. All right, I'll check in with you later. Um, I probably won't. I don't really, uh, I don't really fancy getting messed up with an animal. Thank you very much. Okay, so this one's in the uh, the gym car park by the looks of it. Oh, hello there! And you else? Oh, God. Well, two of them have just been reduced to Scott. Play that three. <laughs> oh, I do you like massacring scabs? I really do. It's just something about it. A sense of fulfillment that I get from it, you see? Alright, just round this Why bend. Everyone got it out for me? Um, don't worry. You're safe. <laughs> Unless you're a scavenger. I've been thinking, thinking. I just don't get it. Oh. Get what? All that food in the dumpsters. Good food. If they don't want it, why don't they just give it to us? Hmm. Because they don't even like to think about us. Simple as that. Harsh truth. Not only a night city either, unfortunately. Well, thank you kindly. Right. Um, Don't look at me like that. Huh. Wasn't looking at you. I was looking at the corpse. Don't simmer down. Right, what have we got? Weak spot detection. 300 eddies. And an archive conversation between Matthias Stove and Philip Adler. Oh, my God. So this is this is Matthias Stove? <laughs> this is what we reduced him to after we lost him his job? Oh, my God. <laughs> Need a new identity. 300,000 eddies. That's step one. Credit okay? Cash only. Unmarked bills. Access to my account's been blocked. Listen, I run a uh, ripper clinic, not a charity. If you want help fast for flimsy money, find a net runner. They can run uh, data manip in a hurry. A face change is what I need. Then get back to me when you've got the money. Please do me a favor. This is life and death. I've got Valentino's gunning for me. Don't waste your time then. Got a, uh, you've got a problem to solve. Ooh, no. <laughs> I think I do feel slightly guilty after that. <laughs> I'm kind of the reason why he's there in a, in a heap. Okay. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Remember, there are no small gigs, just small people. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Shake it off. I've done, <laughs> I've done worse things in this city, let's be honest. Okay, get myself back to a roadway. Am I going to need to call on a new vehicle? That's the question. Where's the next one, Hans? What do you got in store for us? Here we go. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, what have we got? Tom Norton on the rooftop near Pacific Boulevard. What's up, V? 
Hey, I've been tracking this Night Corp guy that showed up here in Pacifica about a couple of months ago. He showed up at one of the homeless camps, but was still going to work downtown. So hold on, a Night Corp guy was living in a homeless camp, still going to work? Okay, that put him on my radar, but he lost his job with Night Corp. Now he's been seen scrapping with scavs and animals for fun and calls himself Mr. Pitt. Oh, <laughs> um, something tells me this guy is probably not all there at the moment. Now, get this, he then shot himself in the head survived and has been hanging out near the gym with some of his fight club buddies go check him out i'm at a loss <laughs> um right this fella seems questionable so hanging out at the gym so he's probably around here somewhere i would guess uh oh yeah not too far away okay uh right sorry Macano, i won't be needing your services oh uh oh Oh, okay. <laughs> we have scavengers ahoy. Um, right. Let's see what we can uh, see what we can maybe do with these. Can we get? And they haven't locked down the network either. Wonderful. Let's maybe. Hmm, perhaps we could have a little bit of fun here. Who have we got in the compound? We've got a scavengers rat. Okay, you don't look too solid. Uh, can we target you? Yes, we can. Oh no, that's a radio. Never mind. Who are you? Another scavenger's rat. Punching a door by the looks of it. Yeah, you don't seem too bright. Well, you've got a rifle in your hand. I think you'd be ripe for cyberpsychosis. There you go. Enjoy. You're welcome. Let's see if I can't maybe get a vantage point to uh, watch the sparks fly. Oh, this is the rooftop we need to be on anyway. <laughs> Messing around with the scavengers is just a bonus. All right, fine. The oh god, he fell straight off the platform. No, no, right. no, 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 no. Whilst that's going down, maybe a detonate grenade for you. And uh, where do you think you are off to? Let's go a little bit of short circuit for you two. And you can have a nice little dose of suicide. See how that uh, pans your evening out, eh? Fuck it! Oh, it's, there's your buddy right next to you. It's Perfect attacking. timing. Oh, that didn't take him down. That's unfortunate. Down you go. Let's see what else we can... Uh... Wait. Ooh, here we go. It's hunting time. And a quick grab and a snap. Whoop. Hello. Ooh, I've got a fan. Wait a minute. Oh, bad things are happening. I know what's happening here. Hey, slice of dice. We're getting glitches. That's not a good sign. Okay. Looks like that's all of them down. But we've got a separate problem to deal with here. Since picking up that XBD outside of Mega Building 04, V has started to feel the effect of uh, her killing and uh, the pressures of what she's been doing around Night City more and more. And um, she's slipping closer and closer to a pre cyberpsychosis state. I mean, either that or I installed a mod that causes glitches when your humanity drops below a certain level. <laughs> yeah, so I mentioned before, that little pink bar up in the very top left-hand corner of the screen there, above the health bar, is our humanity level. And uh, the more killing that we do, no matter sort of who it is, um, the more that that, uh, that humanity level suffers and we, we slip closer and closer to uh, sort of a fugue state. Um, so... Yeah, we need to find... We need to get ourselves to a ripper dot before too long and pick up some neuro blockers, which will uh, alleviate those effects, but they can only really be truly remedied. Is that an LNG? It is. They can only really be remedied by um, R and R essentially. So we're going to have to get our head down eventually. But um, in the meantime, let's see if we can't find... Ooh, where are we actually headed here? Oh, of course, we're going across the rooftops, aren't we? Let's see if we can't find... Uh, our way to this little... Here we go. This little corpse is laid out up here. Oh, blimey. This is well secluded. 
I really do wonder how in the world people would possibly find these things without uh, without some sort of help. Right, 500 eddies and an archive conversation between Tom Norton and Michael Pitt. All your stuff is safe, kept in four containers like you asked. Good. Michael, sir, can I ask you for 100 more eddies? That way I can get some for the rest of the week. What happened to what I already gave you? I had a drink with my buddies, you know. Being homeless, not much else to do. You get it? No, I don't. Listen, Tom, no more alcohol. I can't have you blabbing to anyone about where you're keeping my property. Corporate property. You serious? Very. No more alcohol and the extra cash is yours. But if you continue drinking, I'll have to drag another scop sucker off the street who knows how to do as he's told. Why, wow, so the pit managed to establish himself as something of a, a boss around here, I guess. All right, let's get down off of this rooftop before we cause ourselves a mischief. See what hands has got for us. Mm, okay, then. Crazy fucking bastard. <laughs> yeah, quite so. We're gonna have to take a little bit of a trip, uh, I think. Uh, we need to take care of this uh, this glitching situation. Try and try and freeze the symptoms in their track until we can actually uh, get a little bit of R and R, like I say, to alleviate the the symptoms a little bit further. In the meantime, let's take a look and see what Mr. Hans has got for us. We're locating Eddie Gale on the beach under the Pacifica roller coaster. Oh, again? Hey, V, we have a little business from a blood-sucking leech. I mean, lawyer. Their client is the mum of a brain-dead doofus that thought they could uh, make a, mono a motorcycle fly. <laughs> God. They're looking for anything they can use to nail the producer. Right, hold on. Little business from a lawyer. The client is the mum of a brain-dead doofus that thought they could make a motorcycle fly nail the producer what producer is in the manufacturer of the motorcycle well, i'm a little bit baffled by that okay let's get the mackin on i need to head to uh, to a local clinic now i know that the well i'm pretty sure from the mod's description the uh, the pacifica ripper does not have the neuro blockers that v needs to try and alleviate these symptoms we'll we'll give it a try though Okay, let's try the Pacifica Ripper Dock just in case. And I'm pretty certain I might need to head a little bit further afield to uh, to actually take care of this particular problem. The problem that we've got What's here up? is if uh, if this advances to a further stage of pre-psychosis, it's really going to impair our uh, ability to get around and, and certainly our fighting ability. I'm pretty sure it, it hampers your crit, uh, your crit chance. Um... Furthermore than that, if we let humanity drop all the way down to zero... Life's pointless, anyway. We could slip completely into cyberpsychosis. Oh, now, this is interesting. This is the first Ripper Dot that we've actually visited in 1.6, isn't it? I want to change my appearance. That's a new one. Okay. Looking to get chipped. Let's take a look and see what they've got. Do you have the appropriate huffers? No, you don't. Okay, that makes me sad. Looks like we're going to have to venture a little bit further afield. Um, apparently, Octavius, who's the uh, the Ripper Doc by the uh, the Petrochem Dam back in uh, Santo Domingo. I'm not afraid of anyone, you know? Okay, that's great, thanks. Um, has the, uh, the required meds, so we're going to have to head back over the yonder way. I hope Octavius is open. <laughs> really need this guy to sort me out. Okay, he's up there. Let's just bail here. Oh, see, this doesn't actually get any, actually any worse until you start killing. Um, there's varying degrees of uh, effect as well. Um, enemies have a minimal effect on your humanity, but they do still have an effect. Whereas uh, killing cops or civilians really seriously impacts you. Here we go, Octavius, dude, you got to help me out. Please tell me you got some neuroblockers. What have we got? Oh, he has. Marvelous. Okay, so these are the uncommon level neuroblocker. Uh, wait, thirty-six thousand. Oh, he's got ten of them. Okay, so how much are they each? So 3,600 each, that's pretty hefty, isn't it? I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get five of them just, no, I'm gonna get four of them just for now. Reason being, these come in various different tiers and this is the lowest quality one from what I gather, which probably means that it has the lowest duration. So I'm gonna wanna get um, some of the better quality ones eventually. Right, let's step outside and actually take one of these damn things. 
See up on the uh, the top left there, low humanity. Uh, critical damage is decreased because of low humanity. Take blo uh, neuro blockers or go to rest. Okay, let's find that neuro blocker. There we go. Removes cyberpsychosis effects and prevents humanity points loss whilst active. But I don't think this one's going to be uh, active for all that long. But oh well. Okay, here we go. Really? 16 minutes? Oh my god, it's a 16 minute neuroblocker. Bloody hell. Okay, we've got to uh, we've got to get some more potent stuff before too long, I think. We're back here outside of the Grand Imperial. This one is right on the coast. Oh, hello. I know you. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Allow me to introduce myself. You can I got, go no, the I got no time for introductions. Let's just cut you down to the side. There we go. Oh, hello there. Right, let's go detonate grenade on you. Whoa. Easy. Right, you could do with a nice bit of short circuit to spread to your chum there. Whoa, stuck. Oh, that was weird. I was stuck on something. I'm not entirely sure what. She's mine. Oh, hello, sniper. Really? I think we could do with you topping yourself. Oh, Whoa. Uh, Need some healing now. Oh, get away with that. Oh man. I really need to be able to heal again. There we go. Oh no, I'm taking the neuro blocker. <laughs> oh no, I hit the wrong thing. Oh crap, and I've gone and. Oh, I've gone and wasted two neuroblockers. Pants. Right, let's go for uh let's just go for some of these bad boys. Hello! I'm a destroyer! Whoa! You were stronger than I expected. Yeah, take this. He's mine! Whoa! Where were you? Where was that voice coming from? Oh really? You're still up on that much health. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Why? great. Back up. Uh. Let's just move away a minute. Hold on. There we go. That's a damn sight Say better. Goodbye. Hello, you. Uh. Throw a little bit of short circuit on you. Right, what else can we uh, can we dish out? That's more... <laughs> all of the backup keeps on driving past and uh, scooting away. Wait, are they all down now? Oh, I think they're all down. Oh, marvellous. Well, that was close. Oh, crap. I've screwed myself with the neuroblockers. I left them in the... Um, I left them in the med slot. Hello. Goodbye. Um, oh, no. Okay, let's just uh, make ourselves... Uh, a shortcut directly through to the objective here. Oh, this is the way to the this is the way to the Ferris wheel, isn't it? I pop the sword away before we uh, attract the wrong sort of attention. Yeah, look at this. So, this this young person just what took off from where? Oh no. Oh no, would there a fiery heap wherever they did? Um, can I make it down here? Well, oh, I don't fancy that drop. Oh, actually, we should be okay. Screw it. Hey, we're all right by the looks of it. Um, let's just grab something to eat whilst I'm here. Get a re some regen going. Oh my god, look at the fiery twisted mess. Oh, it's an arch as well. Oh no. How did you manage to land and cause such a crater in an arch Nazar? Jesus. Right, what have you actually got on you then? Uh, spray paint, an oxy booster, and an archive conversation between Eddie Gale and Jenny Tong. No one's ever done it before, Jenny. Mm-hmm. Why not just drive off a cliff? Same result, and it saves us some time. Have a little faith. Been riding on two wheels longer than I've walked on two legs. I was like, I was like literally born on a bike. No, not literally. Just chill out. I'm going to ride because I'm the best in the city. You're going to edit the BD because you're the best at it. Then together we'll scroll a virtue that's going to make us stupid rich. You motor brain gonk. 
but at least you're the only one who can get royally fucked up by this crazy stunt. And I'll still have the brain dance. Spectacular death like that would be worth even more. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, just sign the forms. Cool, cool. Oh, yo! So this Jenny Tongue knew all about what he was going to do and just <laughs> scrolled it anyway. Okay. I wonder if that's the uh, the producer that Mr. Hands was talking about. Well, it sounds like he knew damn well what he was getting himself into. And we still get paid. All right, let's head back on up. Uh, can we make it up to here? Probably can. Yes, just about. Wow, silly sod. The crazy stuff that people uh, do around here to try to get into the major leagues. All good. Okay, we're looking for... Lo we need to locate John Buttkicker Aronson. Beach side of the Stone Beach... Of the Stone Beach Street. Uh, holy batshit, Merc man. This little girl's boyfriend decided to play vigilante superhero in Pacifica. And one guess how it's going to end for him. She last saw him around the beach side of Batty's Hotel. Okay, so Batty's... Batty's is... Wait, which direction are we facing? Over there, I think? Is that Batty's? Yeah, there, there we go. That's Batty's, the, the big one there. So, must be down uh, down on that part of the beach. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to leap down there. It's probably not the brightest of ideas. So, this should be leading us pretty much straight towards... Hello? <laughs> More scabby poos. Let's have a little fun on the way over to Batty, shall we? Uh, let's see. Now, I wonder if we can do... I wonder if we can pull up, pull off the same quick hack 1-2 that we did with those uh, those unsuspecting scavs on top of that gantry before. Let's see if we can't throw a little detonate grenade on the one in the middle. And let's leave it till that gauge is about halfway full. And then throw Synapse Burn out, which should spread to the other two. There we go. All right, let's see if that has the uh, the desired effect. <laughs> yep, that'll do quite nicely. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I think, that, I think that might hurt a tad. <laughs> Looks like that one was in uh, a, a little bit of mild discomfort. Um... This one, however, I've got a funny feeling it probably didn't even feel a thing before uh, it was lights out. Okay, um, so let's get a bit... Oh, I just saw some more yellow uh, arrows pop up in front of me then. This could be entertaining. Okay, we are heading in roughly the right direction. Let's see. Now, the mini map's trying to take us off the beach, but I feel like we might be missing out on, on a bit of an opportunity if we did that. What are they actually doing? Are they... Are they starting on... They're Valentinos over there by the looks of it. Yeah, Valentinos gang goons. Okay, they just... Okay, they're just in for a bit of target practice. Well, let's see if we can't... Have we got detonate grenade back again? Surely we can't pull it off a second time. You're in trouble! Only one way to find out. Yeah, let's try and sign that's burnout on you. That's spread to your compadre over there. Don't shit yourself! Oh, utterly, utterly glorious. Oh my god. This is like this is like the newer the newer version of the old Tanto 1-2 that we used to pull off back in the day. Oh, I love it. Quick hack edition. <laughs> uh we've got quite a hello. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, well, that complicates matters slightly. Right. We've got Valentinos here who should in theory be friendly. Hello, chaps. Hi there. Just enjoying what a game of cards. Lovely evening for it. Uh, you might want to pop some earplugs in. This could get loud. Uh, good God. Hold on. How many scavengers have we got around here? Oh my God. Um. Okay. Right. Let's. Hmm. For fear of becoming slightly repetitive, let's see if we can't pull off the same thing again over here. But then I'd like to throw something a little bit special over there. Hopefully something that can clear the crowd out a bit so uh, we don't sort of suffer any unintended casualties, right? That should hopefully take care of these three here. Meanwhile, whilst things are uh, getting all fun, let's throw a suicide over this way. And maybe a bit of a short circuit? Can we reach that between those two? 
That's those three down. Well, it looks like the civvies have cleared out anyway. <laughs> this one's completely oblivious. Oh, no, she slid her own throat. Wait, and she survived? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, hold on. Are the civilians... Right, the civilians are just cowering behind that truck. I was going to go and throw uh, cyberpsychosis on somebody. Maybe not the best idea. Let's throw Silence Burnout on you. That should take this one down because she's still bleeding from the throat. Um, we got any civilians over here? I don't think we have, have we? Maybe a bit of cyberpsychosis on that side of the fence. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here... I really need to look into... Um... Oh, actually... No, let's stick with the monowire. <laughs> this could get fruity. Help! Please! Help! No, no. I think I'll need to bleed out. Hmm. You're getting a bit saucy, and I'm not sure I appreciate it. Drop the cycle! Right, we've still got one or two alive over there. Let's see, uh what we got left you over there hello there would you mind um maybe you know take care of the pyrotechnics we do with a bit of fireworks for this party oh now you're going to come chasing me with a with an on the verge of explosive ordnance aren't you oh no there we go Lovely. again wonderful when these uh, these little issues take care of themselves hey and did we uh did we manage to get away with not taking down any civvies? Hello. Uh, go about your business. Honestly, there's better ways to spend your evening handing around with these losers. Somebody over there just say, can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you cowering in fear. Right, that's... Uh... Ooh, one of these is ours, isn't it? Was it that one? I think that was our blade. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Something's slightly wrong here. Hold on. Are you invincible? Or is there just something blocking me? Oh, well, screw it. We'll let you live. Um, and the Tinos are just carrying on with their little game of cards. As if nothing ever happened. That's it. Resilience in the face of adversity. That's my, uh, that's my Valentino tunes. Okay. Cycle around to the proper weapon. He gets street side. Oh, hold on. Maybe we weren't supposed to come up here. Um, oh. <laughs> that looks unfortunate. Right, anyway. Um, let's see if we can't... Here we go. This is where we need to be. Let's see if we can't uh, find... Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, no. The blood trail leads to our retinas and where we're headed. Oh, hi. <laughs> so this is our... Um, this is our vigilante, I take it. He's got... Hold on. Dual riot batons? Okay. Um, so what was <laughs> what was this guy's name again? Uh, Kick-Ass Man or something? Right, hold on. Corporate armor plate, breastplate, lovely. Uh, yeah, John Butt Kicker. Archive conversation between John Butt Kicker, Aronson, and Linda Grace. You see that? He just got owned. Tell me a drone caught that. Yep, it's all on tape. Now give me someone real. Now hold on, let's not get too excited. That was just one scav. Are you hurt? Ah, oh, I'll live. Looked like you, you got you pretty bad. Barely touched me. Uh, how about we call it a day, John? Uh, we've got training early tomorrow. All right, fine, go to bed. Since you can't even follow me around with, with an itty-bitty drone, in the meantime, I'll clean up Pacifica. Oh, dear. Come on, don't be like that. I'm just scared for you. Don't be. I didn't train my ass off so you could be scared. I'm not giving up. Someone has to take matters into their own hands. That's why we have the NCPD, MaxTech, Corpse... V. <laughs> wow, really? You know what, Linda? You just sit pretty and study hard in your shiny little bubble. I'm going hunting. John, please. What you're talking about is dangerous. You know who's dangerous? That's right, me. Oh dear, John. Dangerous butt kicker Aronson. Thank you. Uh, you may have taken things a little bit too far. Leave the vigilante stuff to uh, V. I reckon Buttlicker got his ass handed to him. Big surprise. <laughs> nice hands. Charming. Respectful. Right, what's next? I don't think we've probably got that much left now for uh, for Mr. Hands. If his main story gigs are anything to go by, he probably doesn't have an awful lot more for us up his sleeve. 
Oh, we got more scavengers over there. Uh, right, missing person. Uh, locate Captain Geach and the Shrimp Shooters. <laughs> right, hold on. Dial it back a second. Captain Geach and the Shrimp Shooters. The balcony of Batty's Hotel. Yo, V, I set up a location for this band. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Band. Uh, Captain Geach and the Shrimp Shooters to shoot a video. You even got a clip with the Voodoo Boys. They were supposed to send me a copy, but I haven't heard from them in weeks. Now one of my guys say that they think the Voodoo Boys got to them. Go check out the, check out the location. Oh, dear. Has the good captain uh, led his crew into uh, turbulent waters? Now, I think... I think that is Batty's... Th In fact, yeah, it must be Batty's. That's the little glass reception bit. Just out... Yeah, and that's the corridor that leads to the old... Um, the old Voodoo Boys' den. So... Let's set a little objective, see if we can't work out the quickest and shut. Oh, hello, it's leading us all the way over here. Oh. Inter wait, interesting. We can access it from street level? Wait, is this leading me astray? Am I supposed to have gone up somewhere and the minimap's just uh, trolling me? Although I might be able to get up those platforms over there. Oh, is that an actual... Looks like there might be an actual staircase over there. Let's see. Yep, yeah, minimap's no help, but looks like we can scale... The uh, the walls here. Let's see what we can do with these springy Legos of ours. Okay. <laughs> first, uh, first little obstacle scaled. All right. Now maybe. Hmm. That's well, going to be our best. Oh, that's a great big platform here. Marvelous. Just what we need. All right. Well, this is uh, this is quite fortuitous. Anything of interest over the yonder that I should be taking any notice of? There doesn't seem to be. Whoa! Oh. oh. <laughs> Something tells me that Captain Geach and his crew aren't going to be playing any more gigs for you, Mr. Hands. You might as well uh, just cancel the rest of the tour. Oh dear, oh dear, what the hell happened? Hold on. Has he got a drumstick through the back of his skull? Oh no! <laughs> oh shit. Um, that looks really quite uncomfortable. This must be the good captain, I guess. Who's this? One of the band? Oh, wait, this is the singer by the looks of it. And maybe, maybe lead guitar? Oh God, was this guy disemboweled? Oh no! Right, let's have a look. What do we got? Uh, why why does the good captain have an armor weave rocket bra? <laughs> Stamina booster, two of them. And an archive conversation between Bart Van Ockman and Blake Croyle. Wait, hold on. Well, these aren't names that we, uh, I was expecting. Choom, I know you lent us heads, but you've got to have a little patience, right? Bart, have I offended you in some way? We got a little wasted, okay? You know how it was with Captain Geach and the shrimp shooters. Sometimes you could get a little carried away. I asked if I offended you. Cut me some slack, tune. We had a few concerts. Not all of them sold like we wanted. On top of that, Kitty Six had to buy a few new basses. Uh, bass, oh, bass guitars. Lucas Karras had to invest in a new phonic implant. We just need time to rebound and you can pride yourself on being patron of the arts. Listen to me. We're making this Nova music video now. Shit, shit's lit. I'm telling you, it'll rain eddies. You'll see. Uh, so let's just all cool our titties, okay? Shut the fuck up and listen. I want the scratch by the end of the week. You bring it to me alone or my boys come for it themselves. Are you threatening me? Your lead head animals could lick my hairy sack. I've done a deal with tigers anyway, so you better watch out. Well, if that's how you want to play it. Oh, oh no! Bart Von Ockman or Captain Geach or whatever his name is tried his best to uh, appease his creditors, but oh no. Now that's a damn shame. I actually like their music. Shit, I might have blocked them. Uh, uh, oh, I might have backed them. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, anything else that we can see here? No. Hmm. Maybe I should take one of those back for Kerry. <laughs> what have we got across this way? All right, hands, what have we got? Oh, is this a possible way down? Wait, why is the ladder up here? That's no help. Had a little bit of weirdness with the UI there. Everything sort of stopped, but uh, a reload later and we seem to be good. So next up for Mr. Hands, let's see. Locate Lauren Murphy from the roof of the Pacifica Serenity. Not 
familiar with that. Fuck, this is driving me crazy. Who the hell is propping up the VDBs? There was an explosion on the roof of their church and nothing. Go take a look and tell me something. Hold on. Who the hell is propping up the VDBs? Right. Um. Yeah, I was about to say, is this the chapel? Is... Where are you taking me, Minimap? Seriously. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> um, so, on the roof of their church? Yeah, it looks like it's up here. Here we go. Here's the chapel in question. Uh, so, this is where Evelyn met up with Maman Brigitte all that long time ago. Um, and also, we came to... Uh, <laughs> shake up the voodoo boys ranks as it were um for some reason i keep on getting caught in this sort of no combat area whenever i'm close to a couple of places in pacifica which locks out my here we go watch your own self all right come down okay that that failed <laughs> i was I, I i was gonna go at uh, a little bit more uh, uh, dramatically there we go smoke rising from the roof of the oh hello um <laughs> i think we found the place what the hell right so i was a little bit i was a little bit confused by um hans's hans's message what have we got so we got uh whoa loads of grenades loads of frags we've got explosive canister there explosive canister there that's obviously gone off a few more dotted around and who's this joker? Chai incendiary grenade. Recon grenade. Were they trying to blow a hole in the roof of the church? Um, an archive conversation between... <laughs> La Whoa, hello. Oh, I think that cyberpsychosis just kicking in again. Goody gum drops. Um, Lauren Murphy and Artem Melink. Hey, Artem. Heard you can get your hands on a bomb for me. You heard, right? Well, I need the kind with maximum fuck shit up payload. Can I ask what you are fucking up? A church. A church? Yeah, church. That one in Pacifica? That's the one. Make the voodoos go boom booms, wait for him to pile in. I get on the roof, then bust us out of there. How the fuck can you get up to the roof? The way one normally gets on a roof. Why not put the bomb in the church or below it? Ah, uh, why? Why all the fucking questions? It's a roof bomb, end of discussion. Make death rain from above. But the building won't collapse. You don't know that. Yes, I do know that. Just give me the fucking bomb. You are a stubborn shit. <laughs> oh dear, Lauren. <laughs> oh dear, that wasn't your finest moment, was it? Um, you probably should have listened to him. He kind of sounded like he knew what he was doing, seeing as he's the explosives expert and all, and you were... Uh, you're clearly not. Stupid ass bitch, what the fuck was she thinking? Well, yeah, quite so. My sentiments exactly, Hans. Right, let's now switch over to our uh, sole remaining neuroblocker and uh, huff that. To keep these pre-cyberpsychosis uh, little symptoms at bay, we're going to have to track down more neuroblockers, or uh, preferably see if we can find a crafting spec for one ourselves. But we can take care of that shortly. Next up, uh, locate Odrin Johnson, the balcony at Batty's Hotel. Why, why is so much going on at Batty's Hotel? Hey, v, I need you to track down this ass alcoholic asshole that may have a line on some info I've been looking for. He's well known to hang outside the Batty's Hotel. Okay, um, back to Batty's then, by the looks of it. There it is. Where exactly are we talking? Oh, okay. Are we going to have to go... Looks like we might have to actually go into Batty's. All right, let's see, if, <laughs> let's see if I can work my way down without breaking both of my kneecaps. All right, we're back at Batty's. Oh, tell you what, whilst we're in here, I've got a feeling that there... Yeah, there is a um, a pharmacist in here. Might be worth just quickly call in and see if we can't get any more neuroblockers. Hello, good evening. Uh, morning, even. What have we got? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, he doesn't seem to have much on him. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have anything on him. Nothing? Okay. Uh, I'll come back when you sell things. Wait, right, are we... Oh, interesting. We're supposed to be below this position? Right, hold on, where does this... No, this elevator doesn't work, does it, I don't think. 
No? Okay. Right, let's see if we can't go around the back end of Batty's then and work out where the hell this is. Maybe... Down here? Excuse me, give me through. Oh, that's... This, this looks like all sorts of bad news. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, mistake. Mistakes were made. Where am I gonna... Should I? Screw it. You only live once. Whoa! Uh. Errors! <laughs> that could have got a lot worse. Face planting into the concrete wall here actually seems to have... Uh, oh, there we go. Seems to have arrested my fall. Here we go. That's where we're headed. God, how much booze have you got on that table? Man, I just, uh, just need to work out a decent way up. Here we are. Nice. So how how should we have gotten into here? Through that way, I guess. Let's take a look. What have we? Uh, there's a shard on the table. Amazingly, no body here, though. That That's a bit of a break from the norm. Look at the amount of alcohol this dude had. I had conversation between Odrin Johnson and Clint Miller. Yo, sup, Clint? You coming? Coming where I'm going, yeah. Not going where I'm not coming. You sound plastered. Already? Uh, oh, already? Uh, Drained a few bottles, maybe. Not gonna lie. Straight buzzing for sure. Well, come join us. Got some more bottles here to add to your collection. Oh, so... What, he just checked out to go to a party? Okay. Um, well, that was one of the more peaceful resolutions to one of these little hidden gems that I've seen so far. Shit. Never mind. Moomar found him smeared all over East Valley Street. Back to square one. Oh, no! Um, Alcoholic Arsehole may have a line some info looking for. Oh, so he's an informant for Mr. Hands. Oh, dear. He shall be informing no longer. Oh, so there was a connection to street side here. Hmm, all right. Right, what's up next, Hands? Lay it on me. I'm at your disposal. What's that noise? What the hell's that noise? That sounds like a huge AV or something. Uh, what have we got? We need to locate Larissa Almeida, the end of the Grand Imperial Mall Pier. Damn it, another one of my bodyguards has lost her mind. Oh no, another animal. She's heading over to the gym pier to start some shit with a group of Tinos. Either calm her rock hard ass down or back her up. I've got. I'm kind of uh, getting the impression that Mr. Hands has got a thing for his. Uh, his. his protection. Slightly discerning. Uh, discerning? Disconcerting. Right, let's call Maybe upon a vehicle. Uh, oh, I can't pull the vehicle from here, apparently. So many of these little sort of button locks seem to be dotting around. Right, let's just grab something uh, swift and nimble. The Arch Nazari is a steady, solid choice in that department. Right, well, the pier is straight ahead, so let's not follow that. Oh, instead... Let's just nip up here. And straight on through. Oh, bloody hell. How long is this pier? <laughs> Maybe I should have brought the bike. Ooh, who have we got here? Oh, booty boys. Okay, we'll leave them to it. Um, now... Good grief. Look how close the track comes. I could hop onto the track and just run around the entire thing from here. Interesting. Uh, not, not going to do it, though. Um, I am being directed down to the beach by the mini-map, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to come up here to see if there's any evidence of what exactly happened to this, uh, this hired help. And, uh, I think I may have found it. Looks like something heavy went cruising off here, knocked down a palm tree, straight through the barriers. Oh, oh. So this animal is right under the water. Oh, there we go. Hold on, is that even a body? Looks like a, a rifle, maybe. Oh, well. Hello! Let's see. Oh. Oh, is that a vilf villafort? Well, there's our... Uh, there's our foolish tomb. She drove this thing clean off the edge by the looks of it and straight into the drink. Just have a quick scan around, see if there's anything of interest. Doesn't seem to be. But whatever we need, looks like it's in the trunk. 
There we go. There's a backpack here. Uh, we've got a street brawler skill shard. Uh, a geisha samurai nano weave long sleeve. That's quite nice, actually. And an archive conversation between Larissa Almeida and Joe Peck on my way to that pier. Want to know what those fucks have to say? That's not a good idea. After you won that fight, Tino's aren't big fans of you. You know how it could end. I'm not afraid of them. You don't have to be afraid, but don't be stupid. Get some sick street hustle or even some animals. Fuck them all, I just want to fight. And if those scop sucking Tino's want to try something, I'll handle them. Uh, silly. Silly move. So, presumably, the Valentinos were at the end of the pier here and she just tried to ram them through? That's what I'm getting from that. What in the ever-living hell is wrong with these girls? Let's get in a ride and kill ourselves, raging over nothing. Fuck. <laughs> you do know how to pick a man. Right, let's get out of the drink. Looks like we're just about at morning time. Can I... Can I make that jump and still stay dry, I wonder? Nope. <laughs> oh, well, we have to try. Right, let's see what uh, Hans has got next. We need to locate Gerald River, the Pacific Pier. Hold on, that's where I am. Hey, V, my marvelous Merc, I have it on good authority that Gerald River, the underwater treasure hunter, has beached himself on the Pacific Pier. From what I hear, he's really just a junk hoarder, but maybe you'll get lucky. Uh, so our next target's like right here. Uh, oh, wrong pier, okay. Oh, that's the Grand Imperial Pier. This is the Pacific Pier, right, got you. That's a pain in the bum. Oh, this one I can surely make without getting my feet wet. There we go. That's better. Of course, the Pacific Pier is the one that we took down that cyber psycho on, isn't it? Um, gosh, what was his name now? Forget the chap's name, but the one with the uh, the daughter that the Tiger Claws had. Hold on. We got someone present here. We have. Um, yeah, the one that the uh, the Tiger Claws had. Uh, had abducted his daughter and forced her into uh, into a life on the streets and then murdered her just before he actually came to collect. Well, this is our dude. Uh, these two seem perfectly nonplussed by the fact that there's a dead body already behind them, but okay, perhaps as that scares out of their heads, they haven't noticed. So, is this uh, is this our intrepid subnautical explorer? Drowned man's note. I was so close. Thousands of caches and stashes all marked with that tantalizing question mark. The mark of smugglers, but in the end it was always the same. Broken nets, fishing rods, hooks and lines. It's a game. A cruel, ludicrous game. One genuine find for every thousand fakes. One ace for a deck of spades. A queen hidden within a swarm of pawns. I tell you what, he likes his metaphors, doesn't he? I promised myself I'd find it even if it cost it, it cost me my life. Well, <laughs> he's dead now. Thousands of stashes and I only have one left. But the exhaustion's gotten me. I can't go on. This obsession has destroyed not only my mind, but my body, too. Bit of frustration is all that remains. If you find my note, finish what I started. Find the cache with the question mark. It's under the south southernmost pillar of the Night City Ring Road overpass that joins Haywood to Pacifica. Don't let my hard work be in vain. <laughs> this sounds juicy. <laughs> I might have to follow up on this. Finish what I started. Find the cache with the question mark. It's under the southernmost pillar of the Night City Ring Road overpass that joins Haywood to Pacifica. Is that... Is that here? I think it... I think it rather might be. I think I need to look into this. No Ark of the Covenant, Holy Grail, or even a Sankara Stone. Damn shame. Maybe they're in that last cache. Probably not. Sorry, V. Ooh, the next hidden gem requires that you get at least your first call from Dakota Smith upon entering the Badlands. We're going to the Badlands. Right, in the meantime, let's check on the map. I want to find this cache. So, yeah, the yeah the Night City overpass that connects Haywood, Haywood to Pacifica, the southernmost pillar. Well, these two look like they're on land, so I'm guessing it's this one. Well, only one way to find out. Okay, I completely failed to jump. <laughs> Let's go and take a little looky-loo. Wouldn't that be a nice way to round the uh, the episode off? Finding a little a cache of hidden treasure. So I reckon, yeah, look, those, uh, those other two pillars are actually on land. So it's got to be this one, I would have thought. Let's see, can we search for anything? 
Anything we can scan? No. Okay. Cash with the question mark. There's an NCPD case there. Interesting. And we've had our first text message from Dakota. Interesting. So we will take a look at that in due course. Hmm. Not seeing... Not seeing a stash here, though. Okay, let's go grab some air. Um, wait, what? Well, we... That can't be it, surely. What's going on? So... The... The southern... This is the southern pillar that we swam over to. And it looks like... I'm guessing this is the secret cache? It's attached to barrel floating on the surface. What have we got? Flashbang grenade? Uh, a vinyl record, utilitarian born corpo... Burn corpo shit t-shirt. And a hand fan. And a ritual bowl. No. That can't be it. Surely not. Surely there must be something on the... On the, the riverbed below it? No, there isn't, is there? Is that it? Uh, not gonna lie, that's pretty poor. Hold on, why did I... Why did I surface so quickly? Did I run out of oxygen? Okay, that's really weird. Um, I guess this was the... Uh, can we climb up on these? That'd be kind of weird if we could just uh, bob along on top of these barrels. No, oh, that's it. Looks like that was the hidden cache then. How curious. Okay, guys. Well, thanks very much for joining me. We're going to leave things there. And, um, yeah, next time, looks like we're heading out to the Badlands. Let's see if I can actually make good time over to this staircase here. There we go. <clears throat> Try land. Beautiful. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then uh, whack those down below as usual. And... Uh, don't forget that a subscription is probably the best way to know as soon as a new video goes live. And in the meantime, I will catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I find anyone there? He's I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs>